Today we're going to make one of these groove stoves. You can probably see the grooves coming down here. Out of these two cans, in fact the bottoms of these two cans, which will look like this just before they're assembled. One of them is just quite simply the bottom. The other one is the bottom of the other can, which has the entire middle cut out. Um, I, I like to cut out the entire middle, so this can actually be used to fit exactly over a fuel bottle, a 4 ounce Nalgene, which are available from REI for about uh, 75, something like that, like this. There's an Nalgene, and that stores very neatly inside your pot. These two pieces just simply push together, like that, and the uh, uh, gas will, or at least the uh, alcohol when vaporized, will come up through the grooves and uh, shoot out the side, forming uh, what's called the bloom. Okay, so let's begin by uh, cutting out the middle of what I'm going to designate to be the top can. So I'll put this one out of the way for a minute. To do that, we need a fairly sharp little knife. And I'm going to use this to make a score mark just where the uh, vertical component of the uh, base meets the disc of the base. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it just below the, rip, the lip and put the uh, knife in the groove and slowly turn it around, which will put a groove right in that spot. Go around a couple of times. Okay. Now what we do, if we can, we push the blade through where we just made that groove. There it goes. And we do this a few times, go around the can. This will uh, get easier as the time goes on. Essentially cutting off the base. We, don't need to, we shouldn't need to go all the way around. What we should theoretically be able to do, once we've gone around an inch or so. Is hopefully, just push the bottom out. And it should, if I scored it, there we go. As you push it, it will rip on the score mark. Like that. What we do then is we just wobble it around a bit. And it will fall out. Like that. Okay. So now we have the bottom completely removed. What I'm going to do real quick is just go around and cut off any uh, little bits that are left hanging around. Move it off a bit. Okay, that'll do. And what that should do, if I grab my fuel bottle back, is fit over the lid like that. Okay, so that's my top. Now what we need to do is make marks around the uh, both cans, and for that I'm going to use a sharpie. Put this guy away, done with him. Use a sharpie and my little measuring device. And uh, this one's the top. This one needs to be taller than the other one. So I'm going to make one mark around here. At what seems to be about the right height. No rules on this. Okay, that's one. And on the other one, I'm going to come down just over three millimeters to about here. Three, four millimeters, and do the same thing. Okay, so now I've got my two lines, let's just check those. One slightly taller than the other one. Okay. Now, what we need to do is cut these two off, and for that, I'm going to use Swiss Army knife pair of scissors which can take an amazing amount of abuse. Put the lid back on the Sharpie. 
and just push through the wall of the can, something above the line, and I'm just going to do a rough cut around the can. Being careful to stay away from that line that we marked. One, same thing with the other one. Now let's clean this up, do a nice tidy cut, following that uh, black line. Trying to make this one as accurate as possible so that when this piece is inserted into the lower piece all of the grooves reach as far down into the lower half as possible. That way all the grooves will uh, burn hopefully as long as possible. Okay, so now we have our top and our bottom part. Now what we need to do is uh, make the grooves. So what I need to do is go around the top and mark off um, eight points where the grooves are going to be. Just eyeball this. Now I'm going to take my small blade, which is actually a bit, bit blunt, and I'm going to put my fingers um, where the groove is going to be, I know you can't see that line, and push the blade against it and lift my fingers in towards the blade. What I'm looking for is a nice kink down here. In a minute I'm going to go around this twice, but to start with all I'm looking for is getting that kink in the bottom. The groove will have to go all the way up. And I'll do that in a moment when I come back around. You can see these marks with this dead sharpie. Okay, let's go around again. Make sure the groove goes all the way to the top. Got it. So now we have this rose, sorry, rose shape, um, uh, daisy shape at the bottom. So what should happen now is that should hopefully slip quite easily into here with a reduced diameter. And we have our stove. Done. So next step.
is to grab the tray in which to place it, grab some fuel, put out the lights. Find a lighter and light it up. And there's your stove. That stove will boil about half a litre of water in under five minutes given a pot of the appropriate diameter. So a pot like this, with half a litre of water, and a small pot stand, something like that. There you have it. Thanks for watching.